Dear students, as you know, we have already uh, started um, a carbonyl compound. We were discussing about aldehydes, ketones. We have completed the, the naming of aldehydes, naming of carbonyl compounds. So we have so many rules to how to name all this. But then we have started some, some re name reactions. Carbonyl compounds. So, if you remember, we were discussing about aldehydes and ketones. Then, we were discussing about some name reactions like resonance reduction number two, we were discussing about Friedel Crafts acylation Then we were discussing about Clumpson's reduction And the fourth one was Wolf-Kishner reduction So if you remember, we were discussing about the this is this is called synthesis of aldehydes. This is for synthesis of ketones. Synthesis of aromatic ketones. Now today I am going to discuss about Friedel Crafts acylation reaction and it is reaction mechanism. So this reaction is Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction. This is for the synthesis of synthesis of aromatic ketones. So the general reaction is the general reaction is we have to take benzene in presence of acid chloride in the presence of catalyst aluminum chloride what will be the result? Plus AHCl plus this catalyst will come back. You know catalysts are not consumed in the reaction mechanism. This is the reaction. Now we have to we have to give stepwise mechanism. So I am going to discuss now the stepwise mechanism how we are going to synthesize this aromatic ketone. So let me discuss the mechanism now. So our product should be this one. Stepwise mechanism. Step number one. What will happen? There is formation of SiLiM ion. So acid chloride 
plus AlCl3 catalyst, it will give AlCl4. So this is going to happen like this. So it is already plus, it will become minus. So this will be here positive charge. This is called SLM SLM ion. Now this SLM ion it is going to attack on benzene molecule. Step number two. This SLM molecule is going to attack on this benzene molecule. So you know these are pi bonded electrons, so the benzene is showing resonance. So there is the local addition of electrons. You can break any bond, either this one or this one or this one. Do you have this is your choice? So it will be like this. This will be minus four, this will be positive side. Then what is gonna happen? This negative it will attack on the this carbon atom, positive charge of SLM ion. So what will happen? This will be the So now we have this pi bond is broken also. So it is going to try to take on this. It will be like this. And here will be, you know carbon has four valency, there will be hydrogen also. Okay, and there is positive charge. Now Step number three, this unstable molecule, it is going to attack on this, uh, the, the catalyst which is in the first step we have released it. ALCL4 minus. What will be the result? This bond is going to break down. The double bond will come back. It will, there will be H plus to release. H plus to release will attack with the chlorine here. So there will be plus this H plus plus HCl. It will make HCl plus AlCl3. This is the catalyst and this is the aromatic this is the aromatic ketone. Now this is the general mechanism. Where we can change now, we have to change here this acid chloride. If we will use suppose in a step R we will use methyl, we will use ethyl, we will use propyl. So accordingly we can get different aromatic ketones. Let me show you one example. So if I use, if I suppose this is benzene. Plus, if I use one, two, three, four butanyl chloride, you know butane E will be replaced by oil chloride. In presence of AlCl3, what will be the result? How many carbons? Four. So it will attack on this. So it will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Plus HCl plus AlCl three. Now mechanism. So the mechanism will first acid chloride, this butanyl chloride, it will attack on the AlCl3. AlCl3. 
what will be the result? There will be a set. plus a n c n 4 minus this is s n m i n this is step number 1 in step number 2 <coughs> benzene will be attacked by this s i m i n what will be the result so the, the mechanism will be like this, minus, this will be plus. So this minus is going to attack on this carbon. So the result will be so here will be <coughs> oh how many carbons we have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> so this is step number two. In step number three, we have to use this here. It will be positive charge. It will be hydrogen. Now in step number three, we have to use this unstable state of this um, uh, aromatic ketone to to get the final product. So I will show the step number three at the top. Step here, step number three. It will be attacked by ALCL4. So what will happen here? This bond is gonna to break down, it will become a double bond here. This H positive will come out from here, it will connect with Cl minus and we will see the result. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Propyl. This is phenyl. Propyl. This is here. Propyl. This is phenyl. So we have to give the name any ketones. How to give name? First letter is P. First letter is P. So we have to go for second. Second is here. H gate is R. So it will come first. What will be the name? Phenyl. Propyl. Ketone. Phenyl propyl ketone. This is an aromatic ketone. Now, if I wanted to give you some some exercises like what you can practice at home, so I'm going to change only acid chloride because we cannot change the catalyst. We cannot change benzene. It will remain same. Let me give you some practice exercises now. So. Practice problems. Practice. So number one. Give the stepwise mechanism. Stepwise. So, you give the stepwise mechanism of these three practice problems. 
And if you feel any difficulty, any problem, please let me know. You can you can be in connection with me through model and give me the answer of these practice problems. I will evaluate them. So accordingly, we can work out for other reactions. Like we have Clemson's reduction, we have Wolf Christian reduction. These are the chemical reactions. I was talking about right now synthesis of ketones. Last lecture we have discussed about synthesis of aldehydes. So keep in connection, stay blessed, stay safe. Thank you.